ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय नारायण नमस्कृत नरम चरोतम देवी सरस्वती व्यास तथो जय मुदीर ये नष्टेशभद्रेशु निगवत सेवया भगवती उत्तम श्लोके भक्ति नई Shrimad Bhagavatam, 10th Canto, Chapter 8, entitled, Lord Krishna Shows the Universal Form, Text 21. Kalena, Brajatalpena, Gokule, Ramakeshavau, जानुभ्या सह पाणीभ्यांगण विजहृतु कालेन व्रजतालपेन गोकुले राम केशव जानुभ्या सह पाणीभ्या ऋंगमाणो विजहृतु कालेन व्रजतालपेन गोकुले राम केशव जानुभ्या सह पाणीभ्या ऋंगमाणो विजहृतु कालेन व्रजतालपेन गोकुले राम केशव जानुभ्या सह पाणीभ्या ऋंगमाणो विजहृतु Oh, 
कुले राम के कालेन ऑफ टाइम व्रजता पासिंग अल्पेन अ वेरी स्मॉल ड्यूरेशन गोकुले इन गोकुला व्रजधाम राम केशव बोथ बलराम एंड कृष्ण जानुभ्याम बाय द स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ देयर नीज सह पाणीभ्याम रेस्टिंग ऑन देयर हैंड्स रिंगमाणो क्रॉलिंग विजहृतुः एन्जॉयड चाइल्डहुड प्ले ट्रांसलेशन एंड पर्पोर्ट बाइज डिवाइन ग्रेस ए सी भक्ति विधान स्वामी प्रभुपाद आफ्टर ए शॉर्ट टाइम पास्ट बोथ ब्रदर्स राम एंड कृष्ण बिगैन टू क्रॉल ऑन द ग्राउंड ऑफ ब्रज विद स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ देयर हैंड्स एंड नीज एंड डज एन्जॉय देयर चाइल्डहुड प्ले पोर्ट वन ब्राह्मण डिवोटी सेस श्रुतिम अपरे स्मृतिम इतरे भारत मन्ये भजन्तु भवभीता अहमिह नंदम वंदे यस्यालिंदे परम ब्रह्म लेट अदर्स फियरिंग मेटीरियल एक्जिस्टेंस वर्शिप द वेदास द वेदिक सप्लीमेंट्री पुराणस एंड द महाभारत बट आई शल वर्शिप नंद महाराज इन हूज कोर्ट यार्ड The supreme Brahman is crawling. For a highly exalted devotee, Kaivalya, merging into the existence of the supreme, appears no better than hell, Narakayate. But here, one can simply think of the crawling of Krishna and Balaram in the courtyard of Nanda Maharaj, and always merge. and transcendental happiness as long as one is absorbed in thoughts of krishna leela especially krishna's childhood pastimes as parikshit maharaj desired to be one is always merged in actual kaivalya therefore vyasdev compiled shrimad bhagavatam lokasya janato vidwan chakre satvata samhita Vyasadeva compiled Shrimad Bhagavatam under the instruction of Narada so that anyone can take advantage of this literature think of Krishna's past times and always be liberated Shrutim apare smritim itare Bharata manye bhajantu bhava bhita aham iha nandam vande yasya linde param brahma ओम ज्ञानतिरांध से ज्ञानाजनाशलाकया चक्षुरोन्मील तस्म श्रीगुरव नम श्रीचैतमनोभीष्ट स्थापित येन भूतले स्वयं रूपकधाम ददाते स्वदांक वंदेह श्रीगुर श्रीयुतापदकमल श्रीगुरोन्वैष्णवांश श्रीरूपम सागृजात सगणारघुनाथन्वित पिजना सहित कृष्ण जैत श्रीराधा कृष्ण पादान सहगणलिता श्री विशाखा हे कृष्णा करुणा सिंधु दीनबंधो जगतपते 
गोपेश गोपिका कांता मोस्तुते तप्त कांचन दो राधे वृंदावने ऋषभानु प्रणमा हरि प्रिये वाछा कल्पय जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंदवैत गदाधा श्रीवासदी गौरभक्त हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे कालीन व्रजतालपेन गोकुले रामकेशव जानुभ्या सह पाणीभ्याम रिंगमाण विजहृतु एफ ए शॉर्ट टाइम पैस्ट बोथ ब्रदर्स राम एंड कृष्ण बिगैन टू क्रॉल ऑन द ग्राउंड ऑफ ब्रज विद द स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ देयर हैंड्स एंड नीज एंड दस एंजॉय देयर चाइल्डहुड प्ले सो नाउ दी pastime is shifting towards the beginning of the kumar leela the very sweet childhood pastimes of lord krishna in praja few <coughs> days ago his holiness bhakti vigyan goswami maharaj from moscow when he was here he was giving a class and he quoted jeev goswami who said what is the sweetness about this past time of krishna leela and he was mentioning one aspect of sweetness is when the lord does inconceivable uh absolutely beyond human <coughs> capability activities of that nature while continuing his seemingly human like activities if some very inconceivable beyond human activity has to be performed and if one person assumes a huge form just like <coughs> little vamana did becoming trivikrama he became so huge with two feet he covered practically the whole universe that's aishwarya leela there so oof my god amazing amazing that's all but it's understandable because he's so big he can do that big people can do big things but if seemingly ordinary child while continuing to perform this seemingly ordinary childhood pastime still perform some inconceivable act then you just fall in love with that personality absolutely human never assuming a big form <coughs> but performing very inconceivable activity just like when uh, uh krishna was performing his damodar leela
Madhuri Yashoda was trying to bind him and getting ropes from all over Braj. She herself had nine lakh cows. She used all the ropes used for all the nine lakh cows and was trying. And every time it was just two finger too short. And, and Krishna is, you know, you know, rubbing his two uh, uh, yugam netram, what is that? Rudantam mohur netram yugumam rajantam. Rudantam, can you imagine? Krishna is still crying. Please, please don't die me. Rudantam, muhur, netram, yugmam, by his two hands, mrijantam. You know, children are rubbing their two eyes. Generally. generally, if you are a little adult, then you know. It, <laughs> you manage with one hand, maybe lift your chest, pecs and Children, they don't know what can be done with. You know, the, both the hands they used for both. <laughs> and you, Krishna is just, you know, rudantam, muhur, netram, netram, yugmam. Mrajantam, Karambhoja, by his hands. Karambhoja Yugmena. Netram Yugmam, Karambhoja Yugmena, Sa Atanka Netram. And from his eyes, still there is fear that my mother is going to <coughs> bind me. Now, I was hearing one lecture of Sulanya Radha Govind Maharaj. He says, eyes can clearly reveal the emotion of a child, of a person. If a person is fearful, you can see his eyes. If a person is happy, look at his eyes. If a person is morose, look at his eyes. The eyes reveal it all. Therefore, politicians and film actors always wear goggles. They don't want to reveal their emotions. You know what's inside. <coughs> so, Atanka Netram. So, Krishna is so uh, fearful. And simultaneously, he is able to do this inconceivable activity. And Mother Yashoda is not able to tie, this, tie, tie him. And then after some time, Trinavarta comes and he does the needful without growing. Without growing. That's one aspect of sweetness which simply captures the heart of devotees. <coughs> That's why fortunate is that person, according to this Brahmana, one Brahmana devotee says, Fortunate is that person who worships Nanda Maharaj in whose courtyard this Param Brahma is actually crawling Janu Bhyam Sahapani Bhyam. He can't even stand up. He who gives all of us strength to stand up absolutely without his strength Without his energy, Balam Balavatam Chaham, <coughs> Buddhir Buddhi Matam He is empowering the whole universe to run and he is not able to stand up and is Ringamano, which is going, crawling himself. Who is he cheating? How can he cheat other than say helpless? But actually he feels helpless compressed by the love of his devotee. It's not that he's acting like that. There's no fun if you know you're acting. But he's actually feeling like that. So this particular verse, this Brahmana that is mentioned here, is none other than <coughs> Raghupati Upadhyaya. 
uh, who came to meet Chaitanya Mahaprabhu while he was at Adaila, the place where Vallabhatta came from, and he had taken Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So while Vallabhatta Acharya, he took Mahaprabhu from Varanasi to his birthplace or the place where he was residing and there uh, he served him very nicely while Vallabh Bhattacharya was massaging him the Lord asked him to go take prasadam after taking prasadam he returned to the lotus feet of the Lord Eno kale aila raghupati upadhyay Tiruhita Pandita Bada Vaishnava Mahashaya. At that time, Raghupati Upadhyay of the Tiruhita district arrived. He was a very learned scholar, a great devotee and a respectable gentleman. Prabhupada mentions Tiruhita or Tiruhutiya is a combination of four districts in Bihar, Saran, Champaran, Muzaffarpur and Darbhanga. The people of this state are called Tirutiya. So, Raghupati Upadhyay came from that place. Asite ho kaila prabhu charana vandan Krishna mati rahu boli prabhu ravachan Raghupati Upadhyay first offered his respects to Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and the Lord gave him his blessings saying, always stay in Krishna consciousness. Krishna mati rastu. <coughs> Let your consciousness be always in Krishna. Shuni anandita haila upadhyayarman prahutare kahila kaho krishnera varnan Raghupati Upadhyay was very pleased to hear the Lord's blessings. The Lord then asked him to describe Krishna. Nijakrita Krishna lila shloka padila Shuni maha prabhur maha prema vesha hoila. When Raghupati Upadhyay was requested to describe Krishna, he began to recite some verses he had personally composed about Krishna's pastimes. Hearing those verses, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was overwhelmed with ecstatic love. Shrutim apare smritim itare bharata manye bhajantu bhavabhitaha ahami hanandam vande Yasya Linde Param Brahma. Raghupati Upadhyay recited, Those who are afraid of material existence worship Vedic literature. Some worship Smriti, the corollaries to Vedic literature, and others worship the Mahabharat. As far as I am concerned, I worship Krishna's father, Nanda Maharaj, in whose courtyard the Supreme Personality of Godhead, the Absolute Truth, is playing. <coughs> Aage koho prabhu vakya upadhyaya kohila raghupati upadhyaya namaskara kohila When raghupati upadhyaya was requested by the Lord to recite more, he immediately offered his respects to the Lord and granted his request. Kam prati kathaitam ishe sam prati kova pratitam ayatu gopati tanaya kunje gopa vadhuti vitam brahma to whom can I speak who will believe me when I say that Krishna, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, is hunting the gopis in the bushes by the banks of the river Yamuna? In this way, the Lord demonstrates his pastimes. Prabhu kohena kaho teho pade Krishna lila prema veshe prabhur deha mana aya ila. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu requested Raghupati Upadhyay to continue speaking about the pastimes of Sri Krishna. Thus the Lord was absorbed in ecstatic love and his mind and body slackened. Prema dekhi upadhyayar hoila chamatkar manushya nahe iho krishna karila nirdhar When Raghupati Upadhyay saw Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's ecstatic symptoms, he decided that the Lord was not a human being but Krishna himself. Prabhu kohe upadhyay sreshtha manakai shamaru shamam eva param rupam kohe upadhyay Chaitanya Mahaprabhu asked Raghupati Upadhyay According to your decision, 
who is the foremost being ragupati upadhyay replied lord sham sundar is the supreme form <coughs> sham aruper rasasthan shreshtha manakai puri madhu puri vara kahe upadhyay of all krishna's abodes which do you think is the best ragupa ragupati upadhyay said madhupuri or mathura dham is certainly the best balya paugunda kaishora shreshtha manakai vaya kaishorakam dhyayam kahe upadhyay shri chaitanya mahaprabhu asked of the three ages of krishna known as childhood boyhood and fresh youth which do you consider best ragupati upadhyay replied fresh youth is the best age rasagana madhye tumi shreshtha manakai adya eva paro rasah kahe upadhyay when shri chaitanya mahaprabhu asked among all the mellows which do you consider best ragupati upadhyay replied the mellow of conjugal love is the supermost prabhu kahe bhala tatva shikhaila more ato boli shloka pade gad gad vachane shri chaitanya mahaprabhu then said you have certainly given first class conclusions after saying this he began to recite a full verse in a faltering voice shyamam eva param roopam puri madhupuri vara vaya kaishora kam dhyayam adya eva paro rasah the form of sham sundar is the supreme form the city of mathura is the supreme abode lord krishna's fresh youth should always be meditated upon and the mellow of conjugal love is the supreme mellow prema veshe prabhu tare koila lingan prem mat hoyate ho karena nartan shri chaitanya mahaprabhu then embraced ragupati upadhyay in ecstatic love ragupati upadhyay also was overwhelmed by love and he began to dance dekhi vallabh bhatt mane chamatkar hoila dui putra ani prabhur charane padila vallabh bhattacharya was struck with wonder to see shri chaitanya mahaprabhu and ragupati upadhyay dance he even brought forward his two sons and made them fall down at the lord's lotus feet so this is that section where through ragupati upadhyay this brahmana mahaprabhu extracted the highest conclusions <coughs> and it's our good fortune that we are given access to this very nicely yesterday his grace giriraj prabhu was mentioning about what is good fortune the dictionary explains one of the meaning is prosperity brought partly through luck that's fortune <coughs> this is spoken by those who don't know the all the aspects of the absolute truth nothing like luck and then you see like that so <coughs> that good fortune is already there but it actually needs to be appreciated anybody somehow or other who have got this access to this understanding of krishna consciousness this philosophy to whatever extent <coughs> is actually the most fortunate brahmand brahmide kono bhagyavan jeev even if you have got a little bit of faith in this <coughs> but then uh unless one thing is to <coughs> understand what is good fortune but another thing is to appreciate it and appreciating means to take advantage of that good fortune otherwise 
it is a misfortune if someone is not fortunate that's another thing but someone has a good fortune <coughs> to get something invaluable but does not or is not able to appreciate it that's a misfortune <coughs> so the question is how do we understand the gift that we have been given like prabhupad says in the purport this is why narada muni told vyasdev said in kali yuga <coughs> give shrimad bhagavatam <coughs> lokasya janato vidwans chakre satvata samhita the people in kali yuga have very short lives so many scriptures when will they read when will they extract the essence of all the scriptures how will they practice all up to realize it's impossible first of all they don't have life span and within that short life span brain substance there is practically nothing <laughs> physically it may be the same 450 grams but the substance is lacking in kali in kali yuga essence of everything is gone the essence of good intelligence is to know that i am not intelligent real intelligence means to know that i have no intelligence that is the substance of intelligence <clears throat> those who are very less intelligent think they are very intelligent <clears throat> and therefore those who are really intelligent who understand they have no intelligence can take up this process of krishna consciousness easily because born out of that humility is a sense of full dependence and such a person can easily take shelter of the mercy of the lord can begin to appreciate <coughs> so therefore uh, <coughs> alpayusha kalau asmi manda sumanda matayo and even if they are wa over wanting to overcome their laziness people are lazy for spirituality and even if they want to overcome laziness manda bhagya hai so many uh, they are misdirected by so many in the name of spirituality so many things are offered in the name of spirituality and even if by chance if we stumble to the right place still manda bhagya hai there so many distractions obstacles temptations so people come and people go away and upadrata and even if they stay back still there is so many anxieties when we like you know just to make the two ends meet what to speak of performing devotional service main thing is there is no time and even there is a time there is no inclination we become complacent again and again and again <coughs> so therefore he says give them the highest don't beat around the bush yasdev don't beat around don't sprinkle devotion here and there give them full dose <laughs> pure pure stuff something will stick push it into their mouth that is the purpose of the yuga avatar patra na patra patra na dekhe na dekhe sthan sthan just catch hold of them bring them push it into their mouth still we can't appreciate we vomit it out <laughs> the gate is too bitter too difficult to digest that is our misfortune <coughs> so if we can begin to uh, at least understand what are we looking for ultimately what are we looking for 
people may look for money people may look for some position and prestige and some name fame etc in society but deep inside that's not what they're looking for without their knowledge or even with it what they're looking for is complete fulfillment and satisfaction of the heart they want to feel emotional fulfillment and satisfaction that's what people are looking for if that is there then everything else falls in place but if there is empty and unfulfilled heart then put that person in the best possible place in the best situation with the best facilities and still is miserable <coughs> but if if a, if a, if a person is fully happy satisfied and emotionally you know completely fulfilled heart in any situation that person is blissful kaivalyam narakayate tridashapur akasha pushpayate दुर्दांतेन्द्रिय काल सर्प पटली प्रोत्खात धमस्ट्रायते विश्वम पूर्ण सुखायते विधि महेन्द्रादिश्च कीटायते यत्कारुण्य कटाक्ष वैभववता तम गौरमे वस्तु दट्स वाई प्रबोधानंद सरस्वती सेस हु कैन हु कैन गेट दट स्टेट अचीव दट स्टेट हि सेट यत्कारुण्य कटाक्ष वैभववता तम गौरमे वस्तु only who has received the potent and merciful glance of mahaprabhu whoever has achieved the transcendental glance of mahaprabhu's mercy merciful glance recipient of that then such a person kaivalyam narakayate kaivalya to merge and lose one's existence in the impersonal is hellish hellish that is the goal of many transcendentalists lifetime after lifetime they perform but for for a devotee that is hellish because there is no service there is no rasa there of serving kaivalyam narakayate tridashapur heavenly pleasures akasha pushpayate will of the west some imaginary thing not interested durdantendriya senses which are so difficult to control are like snakes from whose teeth has been poisonous teeth has been removed even children play with the snake you know, slap the snake on the face this <laughs> if you have seen snake charmers do that that's why they are able to put it like shiva you know around their neck otherwise they dare put it like that <coughs> so durdantendriya very difficult to control the senses but they are easily subdued that's not a problem at all vishwam purna sukhayate put him any place on this planet he is blissful vidhi mahendra adishya to the position of vidhi and mahendra brahma and indra is kitayate asking for a pose you want to be a fly or a mosquito nobody's aspiration in life is to become that so when somebody is asking do you want this position kitayat why yat karunya kataksha vaibhavavata what is that vaibhava what is that fortune what is that opulence bhakti vaibhava the vaibhava the opulence of bhakti bhakti bhava a person whose heart is filled with supremely positive emotion of love for krishna such a person doesn't care anything of this world so truly everyone is looking for this <coughs> an empty and unfulfilled heart is actually 
the root cause of dissatisfaction. <clears throat> In this world, people uh, travel from one end of planet to the, the other with so many aspirations and invest their emotions in the trigunamai nature of this world. Emotions which are combined with the three modes of material nature. But the emotions when combined with the three modes of, mixed with the three modes of material nature has to lead to frustration. We look for emotional satisfaction and happiness in material things material relationships, material situations, material circumstances. So those emotions themselves, Hlada Tapakari Mishra, Jiva Goswami explains, even the happiness of this world is mixed with Tapakari, Tapatraya. And even if these emotions are good, still, it's temporary. It's going to go away. It's just slipping away from our hands. So therefore there is anxiety. There is always anxiety. And hankering and hankering because it doesn't satisfy the real self. <coughs> and so much expectation. The soul wants unlimited eternal love. Only unlimited eternal love can satisfy the soul. Positive loving emotions, ever increasing. But nothing in the world is ever increasing, rather it is ever decreasing. It looks like, I want to increase it, increase it, increase it, but after some time, it becomes stable or static. And after some time it decreases. Increased amount can't give the same which earlier first dose gave. First time you take something, some drinks or something, tastes very nice and you get, you know, some kind of a uh, elevation, feeling of elevation. Then you have to take extra to get that same amount of elevation. After some time, however you take, it never reaches that state. Rather, it takes you so low that you go, at least, you know, use la to come back to original state also is difficult. <coughs> so that is the situation. So having experienced that, when we walk into an association of devotees, it is like from a parching desert walking into AC room. <sighs> so it's a such relief, such relief to be in the association of sincere devotees who are, you know, seeking. So most of the times we come here Mainly for these two purposes. Mainly, we are so frustrated, we want relief. Mostly. And some others may have come for some material benefits. I have heard that if you go every Sunday, you get this after end of so many things. Or if you worship Krishna, you may get this, this, this. I was told, do this and you will get all your desires. All your desires will be fulfilled. That you know, that you don't know, everything will be fulfilled. Really? Pakka. <laughs> so either this or that, mostly. <clears throat> Most of them come for relief. And so that we are satisfied there. We are satisfied. I got what I wanted and I find relief. <sighs> Hare Krishna. 
but unfortunately this mere feeling of relief is not what the heart is aspiring for and therefore we can't sustain in krishna consciousness for long we can't sustain in krishna consciousness for long therefore we become lax even after years there is a tendency to become lax because the heart needs as i said ever increasing emotional fulfillment and satisfaction that is different from sense of relief relief is negating the negative negating the negative doesn't mean positive if a person is sick for a long time and he is not getting sleep if he sleeps he is very happy but sleeping is not happiness getting up and you know enjoying life is happiness those who are really enjoying they don't want to sleep they curse sleep she che ghanta sona padega mode of ignorance che sankhya purvak naam gaan nat vi kala nidra har vihar kaadi vijito the six go swami said conquered that sleep leads to hate somehow has to be done therefore as long as the body is there it has to be has to eat something has to sleep eating sleeping defending these are biological instinct for survival certain things are one at least can be done mating can be given up but at least the other three unless you are really superhuman except krishna nobody else just do the needful <coughs> so <coughs> it can't last and therefore unless we go above relief unless we go beyond a sense of mere relief in krishna consciousness we won't survive in krishna consciousness because the heart desperately looks for some other alternative to emotional fulfillment and satisfaction and so therefore <coughs> there are two things one is believing in krishna and another one is feeling for krishna we may all believe in krishna we are all here on this sunday because we believe in krishna so zolan is devamrit swami maharaj you know when he did this when he was giving this lecture called bhakti bhava series of talks <coughs> he did this exercise <coughs> he asked all the people let's all say together he said in russian translation he says everyone will raise their hand and loudly say we believe in krishna well mentally i think you have all done this exercise now <laughs> so all of you may raise your hand and say i believe in krishna but mere believing in krishna cannot satisfy the heart and what is believing in krishna means coming and making sure that your sunday attendance is there for 2 hours i attended hello around the head now i am a pious person now i'll go and put my heart into this world outside <clears throat> my head is here but my heart is there how can we find permanent you know happiness or satisfaction fulfillment where the heart is there eventually the mind will be and you will be the heart is the heart of it <laughs> where is your heart <clears throat> what do we like to do what do we love to do what do we want to do always so unless there is that excitement feeling for krishna simply believing i believe in krishna i believe in krishna <laughs> okay 
satisfied i believe huh? now put my heart elsewhere and therefore the heart goes there and eventually head also goes away <coughs> and therefore the six goswamis they gave us how to put our heart and our feeling for krishna that means whatever we do we put our heart into it the biggest enemies for devotional service is three things krishna says in the bhagavad gita vita raga bhaya krodha <coughs> raga means attachment to material kind of same satisfaction relationship etc which is the constitutional nature seeking that through temporary objects relations or situations thinking that this will give that thing what i am looking for no material object cannot give that spiritual eternal reciprocation <coughs> so raga raga means attachment so materialistic activities karma karna and then bhaya <coughs> bhaya a fear <coughs> of one's existence because in this world any relationship anything potentially it leads to misery and frustration and therefore out of fear we want to become impersonal dud ka jala chhas bhi phook ke peeta de say na one who is burnt by milk anything white scared even if uh, nice cold buttermilk is given anything white is scared so attachment to objects attachment to people attachment to particular situations in this world eventually leads to such miserable feeling that when he hears that permanently we will live with one person in the spiritual world ha huh? personal relationship na ko baba there will be a eternal abode 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 no abode i have you know abodes i have visited with so many aspirations i went you will have things i don't want anything i simply want to sleep permanently <laughs> impersonalism merge lose my existence na rahega baas na bajegi baas so nirvishesha nirvishesha is one kind of alternative for frustrated life in this world people look for nirvishesha to come to spirituality to lose and merge and finish themselves <coughs> therefore they just come and don't want to see anyone don't want to relate to anyone and after meditation go to sleep <coughs> or sometimes even during <coughs> because sleep means what is suicide suicide means permanently sleeping why do people want to take intoxication they know intoxication is not good it's too costly also <laughs> still world is so much anxiety ridden that relief from that at least drink and sleep or unaware of what is happening unaware of real reality is so painful that sleeping that's why they want to go to sleep therefore they just want to be asleep or you know intoxicated to forget the reality and when these also proves too costly then they permanently want to sleep that is spiritual suicide in the name of spirituality merge and lose one's existence permanently go to sleep finish one existence so that is nirvisheshvad <coughs> and <coughs> vita raga bhaya krodha and people who hear too many philosophy all contradicting to each other so many people all contradicting to their philosophy after seeing all of that they become so angry <laughs> they want to drink and and some hallucination 
then they think yeah now i am self realized <laughs> in a hallucination out of anger so there are three kinds of subtle attachment to this world one is gross attachment raga fear of material exist fear of existence altogether and out of anger out of so many nonsense they want to lose shunyavad nihilistic philosophy voidistic philosophy everything is zero desire is the root cause of problem finish off your desire no desire but we can't become desireless to become desireless is also a desire <laughs> what is my de only desire is to become desireless you can't be desireless because krishna is full of desires unlimited desires like us but there is one difference he can fulfill all his desires instantly we can't not even one desire <laughs> and when we trying to fulfill one desire fulfill one desire the slap that we receive and million other desire that comes as a by product we are scared of desiring but can't remain without desiring very bad situation so our is a miserable situation miserable life therefore the great soul nirvishesha shunyavadi paschate deshatarin this kind of frustrated philosophies from the west which were coming in the name of spirituality shunyavad or nirvisheshavad shri prabhupad smashed it Gita smashes it. The six Goswamis, Sri Gauranga Gunan Varna Na Vidhau, Shraddha Samrudhyan Vidhau, Papo Tapa Nikrunta Nau Tanu Bhutam, Govind Gana Amritai, Ananda Ambudi Vardhani Kani Puna, Kai Vallya Nistaraka, Vande Rupa Sanata Nau Raghuyuga, Sri Jiva Gopala Kau. The six Goswamis of Brindavan, Kai Vallya Nistaraka, they protected us from the mouth of liberation. from the devouring mouth of liberation anyone hears this they feel it's a very offensive statement the <laughs> gyani is here this <coughs> but they increased our faith in the process how by ananda ambudhi vardhanai ka nipuna they were expert at the art of increasing spiritual bliss bhakti bhav tasting ever new mellows nav bhav dharam lord gauranga is expert at ever increasing mellows tasting ever increasing mellows so the goswamis and shila prabhupad following in their footstep has given us a program not just believing in krishna for 2 hours in a week and then rest of the time investing our hearts emotions and aspirations into things of this world no a program by which 24 hours a day 365 days a year we can invest and experience emotions even while living outside in the outside world dealing with people as it is it's not that something suddenly will change but but how to find emotional excitement emotional fulfillment and satisfaction by by extracting the essence of everything and connecting it to krishna <clears throat> chaitanya leela means the demonstration that there is nothing better than being a servant of the lord even the lord wants to become a servant because there is so much taste in bhakti the lord wants to forget that he is the lord and the whole our goal of life is to become the lord <laughs> at least before we came to krishna consciousness now we have been hammered so much we dare not kon kon hai tu dasanu das dasanu 
क्या करे अभी बोल दिया आपने जीव का स्वरूप हो ही है तो क्या करे बट डीप इन साइड एज अ दास आई वॉन्ट बी द बॉस सो मच दासानु दास दैट एवरी वन बिकम सबॉर्डिनेट टू मी प्रभु जी यू आर द प्योर डिवोटी बिकॉज यू आर द दास 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 अनुदास एंड वी आर ओनली दासानु दास एंड देर फोर वी हैव टू सर्व यू करेक्ट परफेक्ट कंक्लूजन so deep inside we have a desire of everything should happen the way we want every person should be perfectly act according to the way we want every situation should be perfectly molded for my satisfaction according to my desire then we feel krishna you are so wonderful krishna consciousness is so good otherwise why is this happening like this is krishna really in control why is he not serving me according to my you know setting the world exactly according to my needs so even after coming to krishna consciousness still the desire to be the lord is there but in chaitanya leela mahavishnu the first expansion sankarshana karanodakshai garbodakshai kshirodakshai everyone wants to become the servant everyone wants to serve and they forget their lordhood their godhood chaitanya radas muhi chaitanya radas chaitanya radas muhi tadas erdas advaita charya dances like a madman to know that he is servant of mahaprabhu and mahaprabhu treats him in a very respectable way he speaks mayavad philosophy just to see that mahaprabhu treats him as a servant and puts him in its proper place by smashing and beating him up this is advaita charya mahavishnu forget about that even krishna wants to know what is it that my devotee shrimati radharani is tasting she is tasting sweetness of mine millions of times more than me it's like a sugar thinking what's it about me you know people say i'm very sweet <laughs> i don't know my sweetness i want to take the role of a person who tastes the sugar i want to know my sweetness and what is the taste that that person is enjoying i can't enjoy so mahaprabhu comes in the mood of krishna comes in the mood of a servant and enjoys service service to krishna so much taste is there so much satisfaction is there so much emotional not just fulfillment volcanic eruptions of bhava that he can't even control himself but uh, we are not able to experience we believe in krishna what is it the whole mahaprakash leela is nothing but this people are being offered do you want spiritual world no spiritual world forget about brahma's position and ashta siddhi navanidhi spiritual world says no if there is no service to you my lord you harass me no problem you come and harass me every day 3 hours no problem i only want to remember you i only want to continue to serve you that's all put me in any situation i don't care krishna das abhimane je anand sindhu koti brahma sukhe nahe tare ek bindu krishna das kaviraj go swami says krishna dasa abhimane in all these mahaprabhu's devotees krishna dasa abhimane the the pleasure the satisfaction the enjoyment je anand sindhu that they are experiencing that i am the servant of krishna koti brahma sukha multiply liberation millions of times 
नहे तार एक बिंदु वी मे से आई नो दट वर्स इनफैक्ट आई चैन मम जन्मनी जन्मनी ईश्वर है बट देन मेनी अ टाइम इज जस्ट लाइक एस्किंग ए बेगर डू यू वॉन्ट हंड्रेड बिलियन डॉलर नो गिव मी टेन रुपीज फर्स्ट बिकॉज ही हेज नो आइडिया वॉट हंड्रेड एंड बिलियन इज नेवर गॉन्ट टू स्कूल डज नो वॉट बिलियन टेन रुपी कैन रिलेट सो वी मे से मुक्ति चाहिए मुक्ति नहीं चाहिए क्या चाहिए महाप्रसाद चाहिए अभी दे दो सो वी मे चैन दिस वर्सेस लॉर्ड आई ऑल्सो डोंट वॉन्ट लिबरेशन नो प्रॉब्लम बट आवर होल लाइफ आवर होल लाइफ वी आर एंडरिंग फॉर लिबरेशन सटल लिबरेशन हाउ मेनी ऑफ अस don't want liberation from heat too much heat <laughs> knowing your heartfelt desire solen as radhanath swami was very careful <laughs> otherwise maybe you'll not be able to relish krishna katha unless this mukti is there there is no bhakti for us <laughs> knowing our condition state vaishnavas are so merciful chalo pehle mukti baad mein bhakti aa jao in fact therefore many people want to sit in the hall not outside <coughs> how many don't want liberation from too much cold how many of us don't want no lib- liberation from poverty liberation from disease liberation from pain liberation from hunger liberation from thirst liberation from old age all that is understandable liberation from how the way we look the whole cosmetic industry is booming because of the dissatisfaction people are about how they look i saw it recently sarana sadhana swami made a statement putna putna came changed her sir why because nobody is happy the way they look and the whole idea of advertisement is to create a dissatisfaction how are you looking <laughs> really? not no, not looking good acha how to look good i will liberate you from this feature this is the new one you want to look like this or this or this or this i'll give you the lift up <clears throat> all of us are looking for liberation it is a fact it is foolish to think that मम जन्मनी जन्मनी ईश्वर है वाह सटली और ग्रॉसली समटाइम्स वी आर लुकिंग फॉर इवन इन डिवोशन लुकिंग फॉर सम काइंड ऑफ लिबरेशन बट स्टिल डीप इन साइड द रियल वरी ऑफ फ्यूचर ऑफ ए डिवोटी वेदर ये understands or not whether he has expressed it or not the fact is everyone looks for emotional fulfillment 10 years from now how will i be fulfilled how will i be blissful and happy in krishna consciousness and everything else that we may aspire physical or relation wise is in the hope that that will give me that fulfillment if they are aspiring for something else other than this it's simply because they think that that will give fulfillment it may it may seem that they are asking for i want this position i want this position if someone is very frank they may tell i want this position but the fact is that position is also because they need emotional fulfillment and satisfaction in bhakti so we everyone is eventually looking for that emotional satisfaction and fulfillment and the pancha tatva <coughs> came to give that not just that not a, we are asking for a drop but they came to give a huge oceanic 
श्री पंच तत्व मिली पृथ्वी आसिया पूर्व प्रेम भंडारे र मुद्रा उगाढ़िया पांच मिली लुटे प्रेम करे आस्वादान जत जत प्रिय तृष्णा बड़े अनुक्षण से ही पंच तत्व मिली पृथ्वी आसिया द फाइव तत्व पंच तत्व दे केम वंस एट वंस एट वन टाइम टुगेदर Sometimes they used to one used to come, they used to send. You know, you go, you go, you go. But this time, all the five have come together. See, pancha tattva mili prithvi asya, purva prema bhanda reera mudra ughadiya. When Lord Krishna came, he came, he experienced it, and he demonstrated it. It's like within the glass case, you know. You see from outside, that's all, only for exhibition. Not to touch, forget about tasting and experiencing. <laughs> only should he, only to see. Even Shiva could not enter. Even Lakshmi ji could not enter. All under frame, just for watching. And he said, "Chaiye, sarva dharman parite chaiye. Gita padho. Hand and everything. Then come to me. Then we will see." <coughs> so that was. पूर्व प्रेम भंडार एर मुद्रा इट वॉज सील्ड इट वॉज सील्ड उघाड़िया बट दीज फाइव मैड मैन वेन दे केम दे केम इन ए मैडनेस एंड दे केम एंड किक द सील उघाड़िया दे जस्ट ओपन एंड ओपन द फ्लड गेट्स पांचे मिली लूटे प्रेम करे आस्वादन दे जस्ट broke open the seal and plundered it they actually plundered it and relished it and thankfully one thing that was seen jata jata piye trishna badhe anukshan jata jata piye and as much as they were drinking so much their thirst increased that's the nature of this kind of taste it is a fact once you get a taste you want to have a little more or ek or ek <laughs> you want to increase it and then you become fully intoxicated then you become magnanimous oh, only drunkard becomes magnanimous <laughs> even most stingy person becomes magnanimous if he is drunk i saw one time late night 11:30 program sapna bar and restaurant right opposite our temple there <coughs> so fully drunk man six piece suit came out and one little boy started poking his finger in his belly said said something ye le tu bhi kya yaad karega he took out a bottle of quarter bottle of whiskey <laughs> i am relishing you can't understand what i am relishing you taste it so it's a fact sometimes people take out you know all so much money and give only when they are intoxicated so in madness of intoxication of love of god patra apatra na dekhe na dekhe sthan sthan je jahan paaye tahan kare prem daan so they were relishing and they were just profusely distributing without caring in fact they created a flood that even if you are running away you can't escape <laughs> you will be eventually taken over <clears throat> now the million dollar question prabhu ji all right pravachan is very nice now let us come down business how do i develop this how do i develop the this taste it's nice to hear it's nice to know that even lord forgets his lordhood god forgets he wants to forget his godhood to relish the taste of devotional service in the mood of a servant how do we develop this to experience bhakti bhava first of all you have to begin with bhakti bhav baad mein <laughs> you develop bhava later first start with doing some bhakti 
and then do that bhakti with bhava bhavana so the first and foremost thing is what is bhakti bhakti means activity only shila prabhupad gave this beautiful definition of bhakti devotional service before that bhakti means emotion devotion <laughs> feeling for it that's all no practical devotional service <clears throat> so bhakti means activity bhagwan and bhakta between them there is a reciprocation dynamic reciprocation that is bhakti so engaging the heart and the senses for krishna's pleasure a person who is always desperately looking how to engage my heart and my senses for krishna's pleasure and to the extent their senses and their heart is fully absorbed to that, that extent we see <clears throat> that person is actually happy dimamrat maharaj says a, a happy devotee is one who is desperately looking for service he can't live without service the biggest punishment is stop that service that's hellish so that's his connection eventually of course prabhupad says we will realize that the devotional service is non different from krishna one has tasted it and therefore even the fag end of death still engaging in his service to his guru and krishna shall prabhupad if you see translation because for him that was his life and soul without it what's life life mean meant devotional service so <coughs> what do we do uh, how do we go about so it says he says it begins by consciously seeking to do something for krishna with concentration so it should begin with at least consciously that means putting our conscious into it con consciousness it's krishna conscious society so consciously seeking to do something for krishna with concentration that means putting our heart into that activity and putting our heart means to do something with care and attention very nicely i am sure all of you sometime or the other in our in our in your life or in our lives have from our heart wanted to do something and did it think about it maybe you wanted to have a relation with someone and you put your heart into developing planning how to develop relation with that person or achieve an object or achieve a position we put our heart into it right people put just to get entrance into some particular uh, course put their heart means what put your heart put your senses put your mind doing it to the best of ability forgetting eating and sleeping even to that extent so we all have experience of trying to achieve something when we have put our heart into something to get something so similarly for bhakti i said if you really want to do it we have to put our heart into it when we endeavor <coughs> heartily for krishna's pleasure emotions develop unless you put your heart into something where is the feelings develop that means there is a tendency we we believe in krishna we do some rituals but those rituals we are we are not putting our heart into those rituals therefore they are becoming empty burdensome rituals after some time and it's it's no more a excitement oh i do chant 16 in rounds <laughs> it has become a burden it has to be done what to do i have already taken a vow to my guru in front of lord i still believe you on krishna 
doing it huh? so because we have not been putting our heart therefore there is not much taste active service should never be missing in life or else the heart's expression will reinvest in material life i would like to tell read how devamrit maharaj suggests sometimes 2 years 3 years 5 years 10 years 15 20 years in the movement and we are very carefully following all the rules and regulations and still have no taste this is our basic isn't it practically everyone i see it's a fact and you wonder where what have we what have where have we gone wrong why are we not experiencing we hear about this being rasamalayam but where is the rasa <laughs> so <coughs> if we our heart is not into these things in the service and for krishna's pleasure doing it nicely then there is always at the back in this material world as long as we in the material world maya will always be knocking on the door don't worry i am there always if you have any problem your old friend is always with you tok 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 hari bol hari bol remember those good old days before you came to krishna consciousness so unless we understand the opportunities for emotional expansion in bhakti we are going to be troubled by maya knocking on the door giving <coughs> so many excuses as to why we should go back to our old ways again <clears throat> and we find some people are going back to the old ways some people are 90% there and 10% here and some percent some are 50 50 perfectly balanced and some are like rockets appear 100% and then 200% away <laughs> all kinds of you know different species of devotees we find so the maya knocks and she says you are practicing for so long controlling senses get real don't fool yourself you are not a saint baba <laughs> i am your old friend maya your well wisher and sympathizer talk to devotees who live in the real world outside it's amazing i have seen when you want to when we want to justify krishna arranges us to meet one particular devotee who will tell you exactly the philosophy you want to hear is not krishna maybe maya arranges that mama maya ultimately because you desperately want to justify he says saying tu bhi nahi karta na 15 maar main to kab ka chhod diya abhi bhi devotee hu aata hu practical yeh main soch raha tha i was thinking ha it's not practical 16 is not practical 8 is okay it's amazing how devotees find made for each other partners <laughs> <coughs> depending on what we were looking for krishna arranges you want that i'll give you conviction i'll give you friends i'll give you association i'll give you inspiration and perfect guidance you will get how to be what you want to be and justify and still be want to be considered a devotee still it's all right you are not a saint i am your old friend maya your well wisher and sympathizer talk to devotees who live in the real world every new fight devotee goes through this fanatical stage in the beginning of krishna consciousness that's what she says now become more balanced 
be realistic and be flexible and be practical. Bhurijan Prabhu in one particular seminar he was telling, this is not practical. No, you know, becoming a vegetarian in this world is not practical. You know, not encouraging this kind of friendship is not practical. This is not practical. Sixteen round is not practical. And in this way, practically you are out of devotional service. <laughs> That's how she gradually convinces and takes us away. Now become more balanced, realistic, flexible, practical. Well, you may enter Vrajalila in the future. But what about now? How will your emotions be fulfilled right now? Don't repress your emotions. Now you are initiated. Huh? You have your photograph also, right? Isn't it? Initiation photo on the altar. Following principles. But your heart's deepest emotions are not fulfilled. Krishna may not tell you this in the Bhagavad Gita. But me, your dear friend is telling you, I am honest, realistic and very practical too. I am not telling you to forget Krishna. Believe in God. But you have to use your senses and feel through the heart. That I will teach you. Yes, I am not the ultimate truth, but I am the real world for you. After all, doesn't Krishna say in the Bhagavad Gita, Nigraha Kim Karishati? What will repression achieve? Express your emotions any way you like. If you feel lusty, envious, angry, you could simply and effectively do it. I will allow it. Ecstatic, isn't it? <laughs> huh, you may look at some Swami and say, look, what an ecstatic and long-standing devotee. Don't be fooled. They are just faking it. All senior Vaishnavas do it. It's a scientific fact. No one can be really happy in Krishna consciousness lifelong. You can feel more relaxed and fulfilled. Emotions can flow finally and fully. I am your mentor and well-wisher and counselor, friend, philosopher and guide. <laughs> At the end of your life, you can take up Krishna consciousness in a better way. These are the thoughts at the back of the heart. Unless somebody tells this dialogue, you may think it is Paramatma telling you. <laughs> Said, yeah, this is exactly I've been hearing for the last 10 years. And I was sincerely following it because it came from my heart. Unless our heart's expression or service, seeking for that kind of service, then we will long for more and more. We will forget, soon forget the emotion of relief because we will actually long for positive emotions. Real self-improvement means how to please Krishna more and more. All right, I am already coming on Sunday. I am already doing chanting my 16. I am already doing this. What more? How else, in different aspect of my life, can I add Krishna? Can I add these emotions more and more and more and more and expand it <coughs> throughout my day, throughout my life in a perfect way while executing the things of this world. Maam Anusmara Yudhyacha. By remembering Krishna to deal with this world. How? But simultaneously experiencing these emotions. Unfortunately, there is no uh, third position. Either we are actively moving ahead in Krishna consciousness or we are allowing Maya. And what it means is basically throwing our good fortune or perfection away. We are actually throwing our perfection away. <coughs> in the beginning years, <coughs> Prabhupada was once asked, how many pure devotees are there in your movement? So Prabhupada asked secretary, how many are there? Full devotee, as all included. He said, so many, so many devotees are there, pure devotees. Pure devotees? Yes, potentially pure devotees. If they remain connected like this. <clears throat> it's like a mango. 
a raw mango, if it is connected to the tree, it's only a question of time when it becomes ripe. But if it is disconnected, then it is lost that opportunity to ripen. <coughs> so similarly, <coughs> we will throw our perfection away if we don't actively, consciously make an endeavor to do something for Krishna in a pleasing way and put our heart into it. As a child throwing a diamond for a piece of glass, we may also do the same thing. And then Maya can easily catch us. And more unfortunately, such a tragedy happens every time. We see somebody has thrown that perfection. Potentially, they had an opportunity to perfect their life, but they have thrown it. Thrown it for some days, thrown it for some weeks, thrown it for some years sometimes, in the name of not being practical or realistic or balanced. Or many a times, unfortunately, for many lifetimes. <clears throat> there is no end to the ocean of perfection. It's an ocean, both sides, Maya or Krishna. Bhava, Bhava Sagara, that's also an ocean. And Bhaktira Samartha Sindhu, that's also an ocean. And both oceans have something in common. No end. You jump in thinking, well, I'm swimming. And the more you swim, the more it ext extends. Unlimited. There is no end to the uh, bliss that you can get by serving Krishna. In the spiritual world, <coughs> one little activity you can perform for eternity and derive eternally ever-increasing pleasure. And you wonder, how? How is it possible? Yes. Same pastime you may hear for rest of eternity and still find ever fresh, ever new. Swadu, swadu, pade, pade. That's the nature. What is the proof? Gita is like that. Bhagavatam is like that. Krishna's beautiful darshan is like that. Same deities. More or less the same dresses, repetition. And the same us. Nothing is the same again and again. Everything that is a change. <coughs> newer and newer. And what about the ocean of this? There is no limit to the kicks you can get by Maya. Unlimited ways she can kick you. Sometimes from front kick, sometimes side kick, sometimes back kick, sometimes all round kick, sometimes from bottom, sometimes from top. Unlimited ways, a newer and newer fashion she can kick you. So is, that's the only option. In between there is no place. No tatastha state situation where <laughs> either you are kicked around by Maya or attracted by Krishna. <clears throat> so we have a choice. What do we want to choose? We have two oceans in front of us. Which one do we want to dive? The right choice is consciously try to do something for Krishna's pleasure. Of course, <coughs> in this the motive should be not out of fear. Uh, what will the Bhakta Samaj say? You know, you are not visible, therefore let me just show my face to everyone. Hu Baba, hu, huh? Sunday morning I am there, Bhagavatam. So, is that the motivation, just to make sure that, you know, otherwise people will be after me? Or, is it that, to show off that I am so great, just see, I am always visible. The real thing should be, Krishna is pleased and that's the way of actual, for my own emotional satisfaction. So, um, the point I would like to conclude, by telling that this voluntarily to make a choice and put our heart into it. Whatever we are doing, whatever. You may say, no, 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 already I am already doing so many things. Whatever we are doing as a rule for Krishna or as a commitment to Krishna, we could begin with that. <coughs> a 
recently like for example chanting anyway we have to chant 16 rounds for those who are you committed anyway you have to do it oh, why not do it why not put heart one of our devotees his uh, father he's from a jain background and his devotee is initiated is chanting <coughs> and uh, his father pakka very disciplined person one of the old timers he is so disciplined you can even set your watch according to what he does he gets up in the morning you can set it it is it has to be 6 o'clock if he is getting up it means 6 o'clock if he is going for bath it means 6.15 that discipline and this devotee uh, was telling that he says my father such it is wow and however he has one habit and that is he drinks a little <laughs> but very disciplined fixed amount <laughs> so and he, he has a time for it perfectly around 8 pm he comes back from his office everything sets up everything takes a bath and by 7:45 preparation starts <laughs> it's like you know dt worship for shaligram you bring all your paraphernalia and set kong shall blow immediately you go <laughs> <coughs> so 5 minute 15 minutes early everything he sets up <coughs> arranges the sofa puts a tea pot puts a nice mat and uh, switches on the television 8 o'clock one particular program is there which is his favorite so these are like some uh, uh, additional uh, what do you call it in uh, technical uddipana <laughs> you know some uddipanas for his ecstasy and then <clears throat> masala chana kurmura plate <laughs> <laughs> and then on one side bhaji not doesn't take potatoes only brinjal or something <laughs> um, and everything is set up and then 8 o'clock <laughs> just sets up everything and switches on this is like a curtain opening you know <laughs> He switches on and, and then he picks it up it's like his offering and then those and he exactly finishes within half an hour but he relishes every sip of it one of this one of this and then this. and uh, this friend of mine the devotee was telling prabhu ji anyone who watches him will say my god is enjoying you <laughs> every bit of this whole sequence is done with such relish squeeze out as much of the actor is there in it and he was telling really is a vaishnav i should say because he is saragrahi he said from this i understood if this person anticipates anticipates when will it be 8 o'clock when i'll arrange everything when i'll sip ah it will go in wow and every moment of that ritual he relishes anyone who is sitting next to him feels from tomorrow i must do this <laughs> really i must do this he was thinking he was telling me he said if this person can enjoy liquor with such relish i am i am supposed to be drinking hari namamrita billions of times more nectarian than this which gives relief and uh, our um, 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 parikshit maharaj was drinking it tamo payatam pratiyantu vipra gangaj come on Shukdev Maharaj, continue to give me that. I want to drink that. 
Let whatever has to happen, happen. Let me be absorbed in hearing Krishna Katha. So here is Krishna Naam. How much more I should be arranging my paraphernalia, anticipating the time, preparing well in advance, and eagerly, you know, wait. Here now, now the bead bag, now my hands are in. Ah, the beads. <laughs> <laughs> Krishna's lotus feet. Ah, Hare Krishna, Krishna, Krishna. <laughs> I'm overdoing it. But that's what exactly he told me. How much he is relishing and anyone who watches will say, loot raha yaare, loot raha. Mere ko bhi lena hai. Kya hai usme, kya hai usme, dikha, andar kya hai. What is it that you are relishing? So people, even in these things, foolishly, unknowingly, are trying to put their heart thinking something will come out from that, some juice will come out. But here is, you know, that anticipation. Wow, the curtain will open now. Wow, I'll be dancing, I'll be doing this. I'll go there. I'll... Akrura was anticipation and devotion. He'll say, wow, I'll go there. I'll see Krishna's lotus feet. I'll roll. He was actually anticipating and planning everything. I fall in the mud and roll. And Krishna will pick me up. <coughs> he'll embrace me. Then he'll say, oh, uncle, come. He'll catch me by the hand and move me. He was actually anticipating everything. Romantic, you know, anticipation. Rupa Goswami says, Yuvati naam yatha yuno yunam cha yuvati yatha mano bhi ramate tadvat mano bhi ramatam dvai. As a young man anticipates or infatuated by a young woman or a young woman is infatuated by association with a young man, Krishna let my mind run towards you like that. Let there be so much love, anticipation, fulfillment of, of our emotional happiness and satisfaction. So to conclude, basically, it will be, uh, we have to do whatever we do, at least. Begin something, okay, 22 and a half hours, I have already sold out to others. I have only one and a half hours for you, Krishna. But at least that one and a half hours, whatever we do, we can begin by consciously doing it for the pleasure and satisfaction of Krishna to the best of our ability by putting our heart into what we are doing. And once the heart is into it, Krishna is going to reciprocate and fill that heart with some emotion, some taste, which will give us the motivation for the next moment and the next moment and the next moment. And in this way, Krishna will capture our heart. Otherwise, Maya can also do the same thing, capture our heart like that. <coughs> so and then one day, probably, we will anticipate the Bhagavatam class. Who the next verse, tomorrow morning after Mangalarti, when will the book open? What will be the next verse? What will be the translation? What will Srila Prabhupada say in the purport? I want to hear that. Ah! Wow! <laughs> that will be the perfection of life. Shri Prabhupada ki, Shri Shri Radha Gopinath ki, Nitai Gopi Manandi. Thank you very much, Hare Krishna.